Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a most um, requested perfume review of Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. Um, I have it here on a Chanel um, fragrance stick. Um, just went and got it from Debenhams. I have to say this perfume has been around for quite a few years now. Kira Knightley's been the face of it for um, quite a long time. And I remember when it was sort of launched, um, could have been about 10 years ago. And I think ever since then it's always been in the sort of top 10, top 5 bestsellers in the UK. And I can understand why. So the fragrance is beautiful and it does smell very high end. It smells like an expensive perfume. And there are quite a few perfumes that are similar, but there's none that I would say were of, um, very close. Its closest competition is probably Miss Dior, um, which is the pink bottle, and that's sort of aimed at the same group, I think, as Mademoiselle Coco. So Chanel have their classic fragrances like number no. 5 and the original Coco, and then Coco Mademoiselle is essentially a bit more modern, the, um, the bottle see-through with pink liquid, and I think it appeals to people of all ages. The smell is a um, in the Sheepra family, so it's very warm. It's slightly sweet, but not overpoweringly sweet at all. And even more so than that, it's very floral, um, but again, not too floral. I'd say this is the kind of perfume you could wear for work and you could wear in an evening. Um, I wouldn't describe it as particularly fresh, but I would describe it as incredibly feminism incredibly, incredibly feminine, fe fe feminine, feminine, why can't I say feminine? Um, it's not a feminist fragrance, it's feminine, um, and it's a classic. I think if you were looking to buy a gift for someone, then you couldn't really go far wrong with this perfume. Um, any age, I think, would like it, and unless someone was completely averse to any kind of floral fragrance, um, and didn't like the colour pink because the liquid's pink then this is definitely one you could go for. It comes in two variations, the Eau de Toilette which is the big um, rectangle bottle and then the Eau de Parfum which is in the classic Chanel shaped bottle um, essentially the Eau de Parfum is twice as expensive and twice as stronger. You can also get it in a pure perfume which is a tiny little bottle and you just use a couple of dabs and again that's more expensive and stronger so they should all last. You can also get the whole range of body lotions and shower gels um, and minis to go in your handbag or to layer it throughout the day. I wouldn't say this is the strongest perfume ever and it's not something that I smell all the time on lots of different people um, but there are some people that this is a signature scent for and I think if you keep spraying it, if you're willing to reapply it once or twice a day, then this can definitely become your recognisable scent. To Chanel Coco Mambazelle, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10, um, which is quite generous for me because I'm quite critical of perfumes normally. It does come with a hefty price tag. I think the, the full-sized um, Eau de Parfum bottle is probably nearly £100 now, um, but you do get what you pay for and the smell is a classy smell. I don't think you could ever say that it was a cheap smelling perfume, so you do get what you pay for. I hope you found this review useful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.